happy API Heritage Month. Hello, my name is Zulfa Qaltua and I'm the author of As Long As The Lemon Trees Grow. My name is Karen Chow, I'm the author of Miracle. Hello, my name is Dao Kumirak and I'm a children's book author and illustrator. This is Min Lei. I'm the author of picture books such as Lift and Drawn Together. My name is Michelle Mi Jung Kim and I use she, her pronouns. Hi, I'm Jim and Han and this is Mika. Hi, I'm Farah Heron, and I'm the author of Accidentally Engaged, and also Camila Knows Best. We are here to say how much we appreciate AAPI Heritage Month. AAPI Heritage Month gives me a sense of pride and belonging. This month for me is an opportunity to tell, reclaim, and complicate the narratives about our community. I love Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, not only because it highlights the Asian American experience, but also that it brings awareness to who we are as a people. I love writing about my culture. I love the food. I love the family dynamics. I love the music. I love the movies. Um, and I love that I get to, to delve deep into my own culture and my own stories. It's a way for me to connect with my culture, but also to show a taste of it to all of my readers. When I was growing up, we didn't really have a month for us. To be different wasn't something to be celebrated. And that created for some lonely moments in school where I tried to fit in. It wasn't until late in my teens that I realized how wonderful it is to be me. And that's when I started writing about the experience of being a diaspora child from West Asia. A lot of us are straddling two different cultures. We speak our form of Asian English, Chinglish, Singlish, Konglish, or something of that sort. We celebrate the Lunar New Year, but also the American New Year. When I think about API Heritage Month, um, for me, it's just a wonderful opportunity to, to come together um, to share stories with each other and with the world. I write rom-coms with South Asian characters set in Toronto, and it means a lot to me to be able to write South Asian rom-coms. I love food, and I love South Asian food. Um, my family is Gujarati Indian, but my parents and grandparents are all from East Africa, from Tanzania. Um, all of my books tend to have a lot of food in them. Um, there's biryani, there's um, there's chapati, there's samosas, there's all sorts of foods that I grew up eating. I love connecting to my culture by writing about the food of my culture, but it also helps my readers connect with my characters. And I realized we should be proud of who we are, where we come from, our culture, heritage, traditions, and our experiences. So in this month, we celebrate us. We see the similarities in our cultures, how we overlap in certain aspects that truly show how the world is a small place. And we learn about the differences that makes us us. As an immigrant from Thailand, I'm happy to feel recognized for who I am, a Thai American woman whose life and career has been influenced by my culture. It's also about celebrating the vastness and the diversity of the stories that exist within our community while amplifying the stories that are often untold or erased. This month, I'm also consciously centering our freedom, healing, and joy as much as we are talking about overcoming our pain and trauma. There's a common thread in this Facebook group that I'm in called Subtle Asian Traits where we have very demanding parents who don't show their affection for us, but they do show their love in acts of service like cutting up fruits for us for snack and cooking us dinner and going to their jobs to provide for us day in, day out. Um, these are the things that I put in my book to help AAPI readers feel seen and also bring awareness um, to the Asian American experience. We just feel like there's a lot of misinformation out there, and this is an opportunity for some of that misinformation to be cleared up. As a child, I wasn't Thai enough at home, and I didn't ever feel American enough elsewhere. But today, I see change happening before my eyes. There is more and more diversity around me, especially in books for children. As someone who grew up without seeing himself reflected in many books, um, it means the world to me to be able to share these stories. And the, the value in that is very clear when you're working with kids. Um, and I thought I'd share a quick example of that. I got a, a really sweet email from a second grade teacher recently. She says, there's a thoughtful, delicate, and nearly silent second grader in one of my classes. As soon as we finished drawn together, her little hand went up. And I was surprised to see that as she simply isn't one to share. But she said, I have three connections to the story. 
First, my family is Vietnamese. Two, my grandfather doesn't speak English. And three, that book is my life. There weren't many stories growing up, but thankfully now we're changing that. For me, that's really what it's all about. The, we put our stories out there um, to share with the world and hopefully it resonates with somebody out there and then they see a little bit of themselves reflected back. One of my favorites is coming out next year by a good friend of mine, Hideem Shukadi, called The Next New Syrian Girl. Reading that book, oh man, it was, it was healing my teen self. It was really comforting to read about experiences that I go through, ones that I write in my own books, and ones that I hope will make diaspora children out there feel a little less alone. To have the opportunity to do that this month and carry that energy with us for the rest of the year is what it's all about. As a queer Korean American immigrant woman, I'm honoring all of my lived experiences and I'm excited to be working in solidarity with so many people who are working to create change every single day. This month puts people of AAPI heritage front and center. And when we are seen, we can be accepted for who we are. As long as that exists, it's just really important for us to speak out. Thanks so much. Happy AAPI Heritage Month, and I'll see some of you out there. Thank you for celebrating.